morning, everybody. Um, thank you for your patience. Over the past couple of days, we've just been finalising all of the details that you need to know um, about the children's return to school on Monday. We really cannot wait to see them. It's been so long, um, and I should imagine that you can't wait for them to come back as well. Um, we are really, really looking forward to seeing them. Um, there's lots of information to give you, um, and this little video just gives you some of it then I will be sending out like a frequently asked questions information sheet um, and more information about timetables and various other things. So um, this is just a kind of a, a, an overview of what's going to be happening when the children return. Years three and four will need to arrive at 8.40 in the morning. Year three will come in through the main gate and year four will come in through the pedestrian gate. They will finish at 2.55 and will need to be collected. Background. Years five and six will have what's known as a soft start. That means that they can arrive at any time between 8.45 and 8.55. We're doing this to try and ease congestion. Year six will come in through the pedestrian gate and walk straight up through school into class. Year five will come in through the main gate and walk around the outside path to their classes. They will need to be collected at five past three on their own. Hopefully that will mean um, that there isn't so much congestion in the mornings. Please don't be offended, parents, if I come along and ask you to move along in the mornings. Um, the rates in Studley are relatively high at the moment. And whilst I'm hoping they'll drop over the next week, um, we do need to be very, very conscious of the numbers of adults gathering outside the school gates. Whilst I totally understand that you need to be there to drop the children off, we, we would really request that you drop and go as quickly as you possibly can. Um, in terms of safety measures, they remain very much the same as they were for the September return um, and for the planned January return. Um, lots of focus on hand hygiene, um, social distancing where possible, uh, forward facing desks um, and ventilation. Ventilation seems to be a key measure at the moment, one that's really being emphasised by the DfE and Public Health England. So we of airflow going through the school that does mean that it's going to be chilly it's not particularly warm in March so do wrap the children up just talking about what the children wear we I'm very much aware that it's difficult to get hold of school uniform at the moment particularly shoes so we are prepared to relax the school uniform rules but what we would say is please don't put the children in really really bright colors try and stick to the colors of the school uniform as much as you possibly can and that would be appreciated the children will be in class bubbles as they were previously. The only time when this will not be the case will be at lunch times. I want to make sure that the children get their full hour for lunch. They've missed out so much on the socialising and the playing together that they need that I've made the decision that to put the year groups together for 30 minutes every day outside based on the evidence that the risk for the children transmitting anything is much, much lower when they're outside in the fresh air. Um, I think we're all fairly au okay fait with the symptoms of coronavirus now, but just to respectfully remind you that if you show any symptoms or anyone in your household or your bubble shows any symptoms, that you would need to isolate for 10 days. If your child shows any symptoms at school, they will be put into like a, into one of the rooms and we will ring you. Please come as quickly as you can um, and get them a test as quick as possible as well. You may have seen in the news something about parents having um, the option of doing lateral flow testing. In Warwickshire, we've not heard anything about that officially yet, um, but as soon as I do, I'll pass that information on to you. Finally, what I wanted to say was, well done. You've managed to homeschool your children for a really long time now. Our engagement with the remote learning is better than any of the other schools in our mat. So I'm really proud. We're at 90 percent engagement, which is absolutely phenomenal. And actually, that's credit to you as parents for making sure that they're on the Zooms when they need to be. Um, so thank you ever so much for that. Don't give up now on these last few days. Um, it's really important that the children come back next week having done the same as everybody else. The work's been carefully planned for the next four weeks around the theme of belonging. And it's important that the children have accessed this week's work in able to feel confident and successful when they return on Monday. So please don't give up now. I know it's tempting to go. It's only four days. Let's give them a breather. But but please, particularly with the maths and English, try and make sure that they do that. Um, as I say, more information to come out via parent mail. There are bound to be clashes and, and difficulties around drop off and things like that. Just contact us either via Dojo or through the school office. And we want to work with you to solve any issues that might arise. Um, but other than that, I look forward to seeing you on Monday. 
Thank you.